Which is not a bad one, I might add. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Hulkbuster Build a Figure Wave Thundra. If you're trying to pick up this wave, you can do so at Big Bad. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. It's pretty cool how most of the figures from this wave are from the comics and not from the MCU. I think that's really cool. So that's why you get that Marvel logo just right there. And on the side, you get Valkyrie, who's the running change figure. You can see both figures over there. There's a read up. If you want to read it, Pause it now. There's the other figures from the wave. And then there's a picture of Thunder right there. Looking really nice. I like that picture. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Thunder out of the packaging. And right off the bat, I gotta say, this is probably my least favorite figure from the wave. I'm not a huge fan of this figure, and it has nothing to do with the obscurity of the character. I actually really like it a lot when Marvel Legends gives us obscure characters, because it forces me to learn something new, you know? I'm not really familiar with this character. Did some reading up on the Google machine. And it turns out that she's from the future, an alternate future of genetically modified, super strong women. So uh, all the women are bred genetically. Nobody actually mates or anything like that. So and then she tries to find uh, like the strongest male specimens on Earth and, and tries to enhance the race even further. It's actually quite interesting. So I'd actually like to read some comics, and I suggest you do too because she's a pretty fascinating character. But anyway, let's take a closer look. So she comes with this ball and chain over here. This small little ball right there. With some cracks in it. I really like the paint on this though. The silver mixing in with the black just looks great. Nicely detailed over here. The chain looks pretty good too. I like that. Wish we had a bendy wire in this though. I wish we could bring back bendy wires to Marvel Legends by the way. That would be awesome. But So unfortunately you can't really bend it around. I mean it's pliable but it doesn't stay in any kind of positioning or anything like that. Now that's a puta face right there man. Oof, jeez. Now I think they actually painted this head sculpt okay. I just don't like the sculpt of it so much. I don't know. Like I feel like the eyebrows aren't angry enough and the eyes do seem like they're a little far apart from each other. I think the upper lip actually didn't get painted correctly. It looks like that upper lip should be a little bit lower. Her mouth does look weird. Uh, it looks like it's kind of sculpted weird too. So yeah, this head sculpt is just kind of weird looking to me. But I do like how the hair sculpt came out. We get some nice silver right there. And then we also get some nice shadowing effect or you know variations of color with the oranges. So you get the lighter orange on the highlights and then we get darker oranges right there and the creases of the hair sculpt. So that's actually looking pretty good. I like the hair sculpt a lot on this piece. Now I will say I do like the flesh tone on this figure a lot. I think it looks very good. And we're getting reused parts from the Red She-Hulk again. So the arms and the lower torso and the legs are all from Red She-Hulk. This belt is new, of course. But this upper torso section or her chest anyway is brand new. It has a peg hole right over there on the back. I wish they had sculpted this piece right here, this sash kind of thing that goes around. It's just painted on there. It's a clean deco, but still, I don't know. Sculpted work would have been nice. And the paint looks pretty good right here on the forearms. So that looks pretty good and her hands look pretty good. I wish we had some paint detail, you know what I mean? Some shadowing effect or something on the figure. It looks like the hair is the only place on the figure where you actually get any kind of paint detail on this. So it's all kind of bland looking otherwise. Now the gold paint did come out really clean, I think. I like this. This does look pretty solid. I don't like this other color of gold though that we have for her calves and her legs. That's kind of bland looking. So at least this came out pretty good. But due to these hips, you don't always, I don't know, so this is why I don't like these hip joints so much is because when you rotate things around, like if you want her kicking forward, you have to rotate it around and move it forward as I demonstrated in the Valkyrie review yesterday. But when you turn it around, now she has the lightning bolt on her butt, you know? So I guess that's not a bad thing, but still, I mean, I'd prefer this to kind of be a little bit more consistent. So yeah, T-joints, no Y-joints. Anyway, looking at the feet, you can see she still has the peg holes underneath there. And then looking at the back of the figure, you know? I do like the red She-Hulk mold. It is a very nice mold. I'm Probably the most frustrating thing for me with this figure is the lack of head articulation. You cannot even turn her head side to side without this thing popping off. I mean, I guess you can move it that much 
and it's like barely resting on there too and that nope there it goes it definitely cannot look up or down at all so there's basically no head articulation over here if you want to call that head articulation doing that then i guess that's fine but whatever anyway those shoulders move outward they move forward you get bicep swivel single jointed elbow rotation at the elbow wrists move side to side they hinge up and down i'm not a big fan of this diaphragm joint over here it does move back okay it doesn't move forward as much as i'd like it to you get some pivot right over here and it does rotate side to side and i do think it works works well with this lower torso sculpt over here so it still looks pretty nice again these hip joints you know you move them outward that much and then you have to turn them around and move the upper thigh swivel get the double jointed knee ankle moves down up and ankle pivot so thunder here stands just a little over seven inches tall and here's thunder compared to ms marvel and the red she hulk so you can see how big these figures are compared to an average size female figure and here's thunder compared to the new valkyrie figure and we have our marvel legends she hulk and i feel like these figures stand in really good scale together and here's thunder compared to our toy biz marvel legends series to Thing and the Face Off Hulk figure, and I think the scale between these works out great. And then here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, that's a whole lot of women. Ooh, this view isn't bad either. So again, I'm really glad that we have a brand new character in action figure form, and again, I'm very happy that it's an obscure character, but I just wish the figure had gotten a little bit more love. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button, click any of these boxes over here for more shart in your face. Thanks for checking out my Patreon account. Your help is much appreciated. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to MarvelousNews.com for the latest in Marvel-related news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. head sculpt right or we have a da